good people of YouTube, Mountbatten here, and this wasn't a video that I was planning on making today. In fact, I believe this video should be titled something along the lines of Don't Be This Guy, Insert Number Here. Uh, the Don't Be This Guy series was a series I used to make back in the day, highlighting really toxic behavior, either from ships that just gave up in the middle of a match or were really salty and toxic in chat. And honestly, I thought this was a dead series because, honestly, World of Warships is a pretty chill game when it comes to behavior, especially comparing it to its sister game, World of Tanks. But this is a match that I had that... I originally just kind of shrugged it off as someone was having a bad night, but apparently someone had a, either had a very bad night or a bad couple of days, because, well, we'll talk about that at the end here. But anyway, yes, I am a CV. Don't leave. Don't leave. I know it's a CV game. Don't leave. Trust me, you're going to want to stay around. Um, I'm in the Richtofen, and what's happening here is in between filming B-roll, I was popping in and out of some random ships. So I decided to take around, uh, to, to take around in the Rectolphin. And just to see what it's like, again, after the, the nerf to it. And mainly because I had been playing Graf Zeppelin for the Graf Zeppelin video. I wanted to see what she felt like in comparison to the Rectolphin. You didn't catch that in chat already. Apparently I'm being reported for s spotting the enemy team or just being in a CV, which is pretty natural. Um, that is something that happens to CV players a lot. You really, it doesn't really matter what you do in a CV. You're probably getting reported multiple times in a match, which is kind of silly, but yeah. So anyway, I get in this match here, and the opposing CV is an FDR. So there's something about the Richtofen that I found out a little while ago, is that because its AP rockets are so good at well being AP rockets, you can send it all the crap out of pretty much anything with a high freeboard including ships like Midway and the FDR. So, I was like, oh, sweet, let me try this out. Let me see if it's really as good as I've heard and as good as I've been told. So, here we go. We found the FDR. He's sitting in the back like most CVs do at the start of the match. FDR is quite the broken ship, more than a second. And look at all the mountain, mountain planes just spewed out. And, boom, 16k off of two citadels and 12 rocket pens. And honestly, I aimed a little bit too high. Probably could have gotten more. So I'm like, oh crap, this does work. If you look on the map, you can see that in between where I'm parked at in my MVR and where the FDR is parked at, there's a nice channel where the AA from the enemy team ships aren't exactly overlapping. So I'm like, oh, well, I got a free channel to get right back there to him. I'm in the MVR with very fast planes. Now, this is something CVs used to do back in the day in RTS CVs. They would try to snipe each other, kill the other team's CV. That way, your team has a CV advantage. I also dropped a fighter back there to spot the FDR for the likes of the two Thunders and the Yammy on our team to potentially shoot. There's a Stalingrad there flying over his... Well, trying to fly through his AA, not over his AA. And by the way, I'm not a good CV player. I've never claimed to be one. And like last week's video... I not, Well, not just last... Well, no... In last week's videos, yeah, there we go, that's the proper English. I think I stated that like three times, because I did an April Fool Day's video where I mentioned the Graf Zeppelin, and made a Graf Zeppelin video, and I made a video talking about CVs, and all three of those videos I said, I'm not a good CV player. I'm not, I'll never claim to be until I get there, which who knows how long that'll be. So anyway, we're back at the FDR, and you can see, if you look on the map, his, ro his uh, torpedo planes are coming to look for me. He's sending them up very high in the map around where the CV spawns and the eastern spawn, and he's clearly looking for me. I'm like, alright, the game's on. So, during this time, I'm doing damage to him. He's looking for me. He's not attacking my team. So, that's a very good thing when it comes to the FDR. Because the FDR drops an insane amount of ordnance per run. It's dive bombers are literally insane. They just carpet the target with bombs. He can easily do 30,000 damage and set two or three fires in one run. His torpedo his torpedo bombers, as you'll see here in a moment, just crap out something like eight or ten torpedoes per run. The rocket planes will literally lag your game with the amount of rockets he spews out. So I'm trying to get him out of the match because I'm not that great of a CV player, but I can sure sink one ship. If I'm going to sink one ship, it's going to be the FDR. So right now, I can see he's looking for me, so I'm turning my 
MVR away from where his planes are, but unfortunately he spots me. But if you look right here, the enemy ships are pushing up in the other spot of the, sh the Shimakaze there. And again, I'm trying to dodge the flak. I think I'm doing this right. <laughs> Um, that is one good thing about the MVR's planes. They are very fast, unlike the FDR's planes. The the MVR's planes, they've... They're, well, the rocket planes aren't that fast, but the torpedo and the bomber planes are very fast. So you can zoom in and out of that AA very nicely. So he's doing his attack run on me right now, and uh, I've shot down one plane of his with my AA. With the CV's AA! It's nothing about the FDR. The planes, like, a full FDR plane flight has more health than a good chunk of the tier 10 cruisers. So, ooh, he just took off about a quarter of my health there with one run. So, uh, my fighters shoot down to four, and that's all they can shoot down because fighters only shoot down the same number of planes as they have in their flight. So I've shot down eight of his planes now, and he still has more than enough planes for a second run. And he's still sitting in my AA. You can see my AA damage ticker going up right there. So anyway, I found my way back over to him, lining up for another run. Going to drop these rockets a little bit lower, and there we go. And boom, 18,000 damage, three citadels to the enemy FDR. I'm like, all right, so I only have like one or two more. And here, look at this, look at this, look at all these torpedoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven torpedoes. Eight torpedoes right there. I think they're dropping like, uh, there's two planes, and they drop four torpedoes each. So, and you guys saw how many planes he has in that flight. It's just an insane amount of pain that the FDR can bring to the table. Anyone who's played tier 10 for long enough knows that FDR is a pain to deal with. So he's got me at half health after two runs with his torpedo bombers. I've got him at a little under half health after uh, two runs of my rocket planes and a run of torpedoes. So now we're going to go back to the torpedoes and try and finish the job. Uh, teams are fairly balanced right now. Uh, we are one kill ahead. Uh, they just got their C cap. So we still ahead on kills. But they are head on, head on cap, so I'm thinking um, the Shimakaze is about to go down right here. So I'm thinking, all right, if I can get this FDR out, they won't have to worry about aircraft for the rest of the match. And that's what I'm trying to do for my team right now. See, the team's pushing down west right now. There's only a Montana and a Stalingrad still over here. So I'm moving my MVR over to the A1 square, because if that FDR is still going to come after me, he's going to have to fly his planes across the map to get to me. And his planes aren't that fast, so that's more time he's wasting attacking me instead of attacking his team. So I wander into the Stalingrad's AA, trying to bob and weave my way through his AA, catch a little bit of flak there. Oh, I spotted the Montana right there. Alright, get out of his flak bubble. And looks like the FDR is going after a Thunderer right now and flying over a Minotaur. <laughs> no CV would be that close to a Minotaur. Like, man. Alright, and now uh, back in chat, this man is trying to um, remind my team to report me simply because I'm playing CV. Alright, I got the FDR down to 23,000 health right now. And I'm going to try and get as many of these torpedoes as I can to connect on him right now. Get those out. Burgon takes out our Thunderers, so now we're even in terms of kills. And I tried to get the rebound off of the border wall, but uh, the fighters still say no. I probably should just recall those. But I got three hits off him there with the torpedo. So now I'm like, okay, sweet. I am one rocket run away from dealing with this FDR. And in chat, that's him telling me to go fornicate with myself right now. Find it funny that a uh, CV, that the whole class just harasses ships, just like I'm doing to him right now, is getting ticked off because I'm doing exactly what CVs do to other ships to a CV. It, that's just a little ironic, I think, that he's getting uh, mad over that. And other fellow in chat is saying that I'm doing it just because I hate CVs. No, I'm doing it because I want my team to have a tactical advantage over your team. Very much like how he spent the first 10 or so minutes of the game doing the same thing back to me. And I just comment on bringing back C CV on CV violence, just as a joke, you know, whatever. So, at this moment, Teams are still pretty even. They're gaining a little bit ahead in points because they do have two cats. But in terms of kills, we're still pretty even. So, pretty close match so far. And once again, I believe I wandered into the Stalingrad's AA bubble. Get out of that quite quickly. Is that Montana running for the J line? And now we're going to go see where this FDR is at. It looks like he's running for J10. I mean, I'm an A1. The uh, traditional corner for CVs. 
We want our Stalingrad takes out our Harugamo. I'm sorry, their Stalingrad takes out our Harugamo. And this FDR is definitely trying to run. Makes sense. He wants to live. Oh, there he is. He's in uh, J9, almost in J10. So he's got 14,000 health left. Perfect. That's easily one run with these rockets. So if you notice in chat right now, old boy's back, which this is the Shimakaze player. Um, and our Minotaurs, also piling on there as well, saying that I'm screwing them because I'm focusing on the FDR rather than other ships, which, sure, I can understand, you know, I might want to be targeting other ships right now, but the FDR is one hit away from being dead. Now, he's on the border, and he's border humping, so I can't get a clean run-up. And he also launched his fighters, so I wanted to get in there as quick as I could, but unfortunately I didn't get him down. So I'm like, crap, well, I'm going to have to send another wave there. So, um, now, um, I'm apparently I'm getting reported right now by the enemy team, which I don't understand, because, you know, and there's nothing too. Most of these guys complaining and stuff, um, they're on the enemy team. I don't know if you've ever heard the phrase, don't interrupt your enemy when they're making a mistake. If I'm really playing that bad, just keep it to yourself so you guys can win. Um, and then, naturally, the stat shamer comes out. Bring up that my win weight in this carrier, win, win weight rate, mm, ours are hard, is 30%. Which it was at this time. I haven't played a lot of CVs. And, oh boy, old Chimikaze player brings up, not surprising, it's Mountbatten. It's not surprising. It shouldn't be surprising because every time I talk about CVs, I'm pretty sure I mention I'm a terrible CV player. I'm trying to get better, trying to play better. And again, this match, I just wanted to see if the MVR is as good as dealing with the FDR as I've heard and have been told. And it is. I'm sure a good CV player probably would have killed him by now. I uh, just messed up that um, rocket plane run. Anyway... <laughs> and I love this comment too here. He's still sending planes to Eric here. Yes, your carrier is at 6,000 health. Yeah, I'm still sending planes to him because I want him dead. That way, my team doesn't have to worry about him for the rest of the match. And saying that I'm actively throwing the game. Sir, I am not. I'm trying to sink your carrier so my team can have a tactical advantage over your team. And this is where, where I... um come to the conclusion that they are quite salty that I am just touching their FDR and they're not getting you know, an easy wind because their FDR is probably about to be sunk. So, here comes up the run-up on the FDR. He's at 6,000 health. One of these, well, two of these torpedoes will be enough to sink the FDR. Uh, MVR has very fast but very light damage torpedoes. And you see that the FDR is sending planes toward me, okay? And just pay attention to the chat, it's very entertaining from this point on out. So I get one hit on him, but he manages to avoid it, but no worries, I have four more planes. And apparently I lost a subscriber because of this, and sorry you felt like that, but okay, I understand if you disagree with the way I'm playing. Alright, get a good run-up on him there, it's pretty much dead. And here's the FDR, who's choosing to, with his last four planes, come after me. There goes the FDR, they just lost 65 points, yanking those points back toward our favor. So, with his last four planes, does he decide to go after our Low Health Thunder, our Yami, our Ohio, or our Half Health Minotaur? Planes that drop so many torpedoes, it's almost impossible to dodge. No, he goes after me. Understandable. I've been attacking him the whole game. So, but, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. This is the arguments that being presented here don't make much sense, you know. Getting on me for attacking their CV when your CV spent a pretty decent amount of his time attacking me too. It's even more time for him because he has to send his planes all the way across the map and his planes are legitimately insanely slow. But anyway, fly over the Harugamo, drop a fighter there to keep him spotted. And now I'm trying to line up a drop on the thun on the not the Thunder, the Bargon. Probably should have started that dive a little bit ahead of him. But drop the bombs. MVR's new expanded reticle says no, go go take a hike. Um, and yep, he is about to drop on me, I do believe. I'm coming around to j just to try and confirm the kill on this Bergon right now. Because we need kills right now in order to secure the win. So right now I'm just trying to go off the low health ships. Doesn't really matter what. Just try to poke them and kill them so that we can get more points on our side. And 
all those go in that one corner that's lovely. And here's four FDRs playing with the torpedoes right into my side and decided to waste his final flight of planes targeting me. Doesn't sink me. So I've essentially tanked uh, 101,000 damage for my team in the CV, most of that from the FDR. I think that's a pretty good contribution right there, bring all that hate on me and not on my team. But people can think different. I understand that. That's just me looking at looking back at this. And all this time, too, they've been badgering me in chat. Um, as you can see right now. Female dog Toffin, okay? And then it dawns on them that right now the team's actually winning. We're three, there are three ships to our six ships, and we have one cap. And they have a Des Moines left who's almost dead and a Thunder who's in a channel. And look at our Thunder right there. He's at 11,000 health. Boy, isn't it nice that there's not a CV around that can utterly dump on that Thunderer and just nuke him off the face of the map and us be down a ship and flip the points fi uh, back to their favor even more. Isn't that nice that there's not a CV around to do that? I think so. Look at our Minotaur. Is it nice that there isn't a CV that can dump on him with uh, eight torpedoes at a time dispersed in such a pattern that he can't possibly dodge all of them? Isn't it nice that that CV isn't around to do that? I think that's pretty nice. Anyway, so I got the dive bombers up. I'm going to try and drop on the Des Moines right here. He's at 3,000 health, but he's also tucked into this crevice pretty nice. And again, I'm just trying to screw the points because they're at 819 points and we need something to die. And get those bombs out. And two connected, but not before the Harugamo burns them out. Now, the team that I was on did have some really good players on it. And I, I'm 100% sure that without the guys that were on my team, there's no way we would have possibly won. Especially with me playing CV because CV has so much influence over the match. It's kind of sad that that is the case if we're being honest, you know. We have two enemy ships left alive. They still do have the advantage in terms of points. But now I am in my rocket planes going to see if I can spot the Shimakaze for the team. Flying over in the direction of his torps. Well, where his torps came from at least. Now, the CV isn't spotted so I know he's not within my detection range. He's not within 12 kilometers of the uh, carry itself. My planes get spotted here, so now I know he's probably somewhere over here. But then I'm also like, well, we still need points, and I can spend two minutes trying to find this guy, or I can go contribute to trying to sink the Thunderer. And at this point, every single mitocom of damage you can do against the ship that your team needs to die helps. Oh, look how high he's at 24,000 health. Isn't it nice that there's not a CV that can dump on him with HE bombs that can pretty much guarantee he's going to take at least 25,000 damage and two fires? Isn't that nice that there's not a CV around that can do that? I think so. <laughs> Alright, so now I saw the Thunder was heading down south through this channel. And I'm just going to try and get at his broadside. Because with the AP rockets, you can't sit at all battleships, but if you hit them in their bow and their upper armor, you can still get a pretty good good amounts of pin off on, on them. That's what I'm doing here with the Thunder, because, well, now my bombers are back up, but my uh, torpedo planes aren't ready to go up just yet. So I'm coming at him right here, aiming for his bow. And trying to get his bow and his upper armor portion. Drop it right there. Hit his bow and his upper armor. Drop him down to 200 health. Boy, 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 boy. Drop those rockets a little bit too high. A little bit lower, I probably would have got him for sure, but no worries. Minotaur gets him, and he is down. And now it is just the Shimakaze left alive on the enemy team, and I'm launching my planes to go and try and spot him uh, for the team. However, there's only a minute and 27 seconds left in the match, so there's a pretty good assurance that we have this, unless the Shimakaze just utterly nukes a ship out of existence, which he almost did there with the Ohio, but... He did not. So, yeah, this was an interesting match in terms of the chat and two or three guys on the enemy team and two guys on my team. And to be very clear, I don't want any harassment to go toward these guys. They could have been having a bad night, and I understand that. Things happen. Um, but I don't know why you'd be complaining about the enemy CV not doing a good job. Most of the time, when I see that the, that the enemy CV player isn't the best player ever, I'm just thankful that he's not a pro player, and that I can actually try and get something done this match, and move on about my life. 
Certainly don't start badgering him in chat. Certainly don't pull up his stats and start sharing that with everybody. Now that it's me, I don't care about my stats. My stats are out there for the public to see. I've directed people toward them before when they ask me about certain things. You can see, I'm not a very good CV player. Again, I, that's in the open. I said it three times a couple of weeks ago. Um, it, it's, it just really doesn't matter to me. But what, what does bother me and what does frustrate me is that one of these fellows, I won't say who, I won't even say what team that he's on, but if you find one of the posts, you, you, you will know who it is. He has been going around, apparently, Discord servers, um, Reddit, and the forums, saying that I'm going around in my Ritofen, just CV sniping, and that's why my win rate is in the gutter in Ritofen, and why... If you get me on your team as a CV player, you should report me instantly or potentially even team kill me and deal with me that way. I'm here to tell you today that is not the case. And that's why I broke this video out so I can show you guys that, sure, you may not agree with my tactics. I understand that, but I'm not going around throwing games just to kill the CV. There are people that will do that. Don't get me wrong. There will people that, that, that will absolutely just beeline for the CV and try to murder it at the expense of the game to your teammates. No, it's not that. I'm not doing that. I'm just bad at CVs, and I don't have a whole lot of matches even in the MVR. As of, well, me recording this video, I only have 44 matches in the MVR, and funnily enough, this match actually brought my win rate up 6%, because at this match, the beginning of it, my win rate was surely 30% of the MVR. Now it's 36%. Go figure. That's, you know, statistics are funny like that. Um, but yeah, no, I'm not a good CV player. That's just why they're so low. They'll go up eventually. They'll get there. I'm just learning the ropes and, well, MVR had a very long period where it, where it was uh, insanely busted and you could easily do 200,000 damage in the ship. So the average damage of the MVR is like through the roof. It's coming down now since the uh, reticle nerf, but most of my games have been post reticle nerf rather than pre reticle nerf. And plus, I did a really big brain thing and I didn't realize that the MVR's planes you don't get the fancy planes straight away even though it's a tier 10 you gotta unlock those so i accidentally used the stock planes for quite some time and thank you to the guy that pointed that out in the comments that was pretty funny when i realized that but yeah no i'm just i'm just bad in vr i don't know what else to tell you like what, whatever but i don't like it when people go around and try to make me out as something that i am not i'm a very i like to think i'm a very open guy on the channel i don't really pick and choose matches for videos and stuff you guys get to see my wins and you guys get to see my losses i i don't show you like 250,000 games every match that's kind of the point of this channel it's supposed to be average player running a youtube channel and that's what i am and that's what i'm always going to be i'm never going to claim to be anything else but average anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to drop a like and leave a comment and also subscribe to the channel we just passed 23,800 subscribers the other day actually yesterday and i cannot thank you guys enough for that and tomorrow's video should be back to your normal world of worships content we'll be talking about uh 10.3 tomorrow so be sure to stick around for that anyway guys hope you're having a wonderful day hope to catch you guys in the next one